Welcome back to Scott Wonders World. I've just done that. He's not happy. I just tried it down. I thought my throat's on fire a little bit. It was horrific. I can't watch it. <laughs> no, it's, it's horrific. It's not the worst thing I've had. It's one of the worst beers. I've tasted worse. I'll tell you what. We've had the OJ thing was a lot worse than. That. Oh, that was just for um, that was just for shits and giggles. Yeah, but that was horrible. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. Was horrible <laughs> Which one? The eighteen or the sixteen? Eighteen and the sixteen. They were both horrific. Jesus Christ. So, so we're, in the, we're in the middle of the um the latest uh Lidl craft beer festival wonder. Yeah. Um, and this was one that I want to try. Thank you to David um Thompson again. He he sends us the pamphlets out and um, keeps us updated. Keeps us updated. So, so David, so thank, thank you, you very much. much for a scouser. You're all right. <laughs> um, and obviously this looking through was the one that mm. stood out mm. for you. Yeah, because I do I have a thing about peanut butter stouts or chocolate stouts, but peanut butter is like one of my favourite things. Yeah. So this is from um, Black Sheep Brewing. I actually love the artwork. Mm -hmm. And this is their peanut brittle stout coming in wonder at 6.9%. Quite strong then. On your ABVs. Mm. Um, there's a bit on the blurb on the side. If you'd like to read that, this one was in the upper region of about 179. Okay. I think. I really hope I get to taste the peanut butter. I don't know if it's peanut butter, so it's peanut brittle. So for the peanut butter friends. Fines, fines, fiends, fiends. The um, flinching stout is layered with a variety of flavours: notes of peanut, hazelnut, mm. salted caramel, vanilla, chocolate, and more. Sweet, indulgent, resolute bowl, and silky smooth. I don't even know what's that say. Resolutely, Resolutely bold. Yeah, I was nearly there. Then. Yeah, you were far, you were far off. So yeah, it. and I'm going to think of the price as well. So, yeah, I'm hoping it tastes good. It tastes I, like peanut butter because I love peanut let's butter. Let's get down to the price. <coughs> Even at a pound that's or 50 p, no, that's 179. So that's the same price uh, as this, I think. 179. That's quite shocking. That's more than what you normally pay for. A little bit, shocking. Yeah, I think they put the prices up on some of them, right. which is fair enough. Black Sheep Brewing. I had a few from Black Sheep. Yeah. Uh, my personal opinion, and I'm going to be, uh, be honest, I don't, I'm, they use a lot of adjuncts in their beers. Mm -hmm. I don't think they use them the best. Um, okay. But we're going. Do you think they could do better? I, I think, I think some, that, I mean, that's an adjunct beer, right? So that raspberry yeah. is raspberry concentrate. It's not the worst thing I've had, though. I've but had a lot would worse you stuff. Would you agree that the overuse of the raspberry concentrate in that beer is just I don't think monumental? I not that strong, to be honest. I think yeah. it's just too weak. It's too weak. She's never going to be in one of my videos ever again. This will be the last you ever see of my wife. Anyway, let's get to this one. Black Sheep Brewing. Yes. Um, I do have... Hurry up, because I'm getting a dead foot. Real, real... Um, excitement. Excitement. The one the stout wife, but it looks quite, it looks quite thin. Yeah, but I have stouts from um, places and... They can be quite thin. I enjoy it because I like it being thin. It's, and you're right. It's you a have bit to, easier you, to drink sometimes. So the reason that these pri these beers are priced so low, is it watery? yeah. The reason these pri these beers are priced so low mm -hmm. is concentrate, ice cream concentrates, and things like that are a lot cheaper than hops. So the flavours of the right. beers coming from those concentrates and those adjuncts right. are a lot sort of synthetic. And using the real, real hops. hops. Yeah. But what do you use in the stout then? We still get hops. Then yeah. you can you can mask. Bad adjuncts, slightly easier within a stout, I think. Yes. In the glass, I agree. There's a little, lot of uh, red light bleed around the bottom, little so bit. it's quite, it's quite thin. It's not the worst looking stout no. I've ever seen. No, it's had worse. Go on, in, Wanda. Please be peanut butter. I think I should go first because you usually <laughs> do the other ones. There is a nuttiness. There's a, a coffee and a chocolate, a sort of um, bitter dark chocolate, uh -huh. and a roastiness to it. Okay. Would I say it's peanut Roasted butter? Roasted malts. I'm getting caramel. Okay. And I'm getting nuts. 
Oh, hazelnuts. I'm getting, but it's quite light on the smell. Yeah, the, the, it's not like overpowering. It's quite, really. it's quite um dialed down. Which I expected it to be. Not gonna fall out on price on this one. I expect it to be at that price. It's not gonna be your usual. It's not jumping. Thing. It's not jumping. But it's but for the price. What do you expect? But, but also, it's not turning me away either. Mm. 179. Think of the price up. Oh, hello. Um, I'm not going to say anything That's until one trades it. You. Right. Because there's one standout thing on that beer for me on the taste and it overpowers sadly a lot of it <laughs> it was going really well the aroma promised quite a bit hang on it was going really well it was a huge hit of caramel that's what i got okay and then it went almost like soapy taste and then i got the peanut butter like peanut taste so if it worked for that middle soapy bit you know what I'm picking i out? probably would have enjoyed it you know what i'm picking out huge amount of salt it's salty caramel yeah it's it, so for me it's I, i'm getting the caramel more i'm not i'm I, picking it's up. not that salty I've, I've had salty beers and it's not as salty as those it, it, for, it's, for me that it's... salt overpowers it it's almost like a goes I'm getting peanut butter back end of it. I'm not sure what to make of this one because now I'm getting a different vibe from it. What are you it. getting now? Are you picking that salt out? I am. Have another bit. Uh, no, it's quite sweet. Very light. Very, very light body. But I don't mind light body. Dish drinks, water to be body in all honesty. I've not tried dishwater. <laughs> the salt, for me, it ruins it. It's salty ruined. caramel. I get it, salty caramel. I understand that. But salty caramel is quite salty that's, and sweet. That's viciously salty. For, um, on my palate. I like salt. I don't know why, I don't want to drink a fucking I'm not glass getting of as it. much as you, but I'm getting a weird soapy taste. But that's the beauty of our channel. We both so, get different. We, you get a different point of view. Well, I get, I'm, getting, I'm getting different flavours, and now I'm getting the, pe the peanut end of it. There is a slight nuttiness to it. I would enjoy it, it but I don't know. That's I'm so, a bit so, confused. I'm like half liking it, half not. So the soapiness is ruining it for you. Yeah. I'm classing for my palate. That's it's the salt. Really, it's can't describe. It's like waves of different flavours. You're getting. Um, there is a nice. I'm getting a nice taste after. After taste is quite nice. I'm a bit confused by it. It's the salt up front for me. It's confused the hell out of me. Um, I get a salted caramel. You get the brittle here, and you bit into it. You pro a salted caramel peanut butter brittle. You bit into it. It yep. wouldn't be that far removed from it, really. I'm picking up that roasted malt. I'm picking up the the peanuts. I get what you're mm. saying. Um, it's a really odd. It's bit. a very. It's, it's very a, strange. It's a wonderful can wrap. Sadly, I, the gonna, beer in it doesn't match it for me. I'm going to say I'm going to go in the middle with this one because I'm really baffled by it. Because I would drink it. Yep. I would quite drink it. And I'm, I'm intrigued to find out more. Yeah. That makes sense. But I don't know. It's, I'm a bit confused. Right. Probably, I'm, I'm going to do something. I've had a lot worse. I'm going to take and do something. I'm going to take Wanda's um, advice on board. I'm going to I'm going to review this on price. Okay, one pound seventy nine a can. For Bod a stout. For a stout. Mm. Um, body of the beer. I have had worse stouts that have cost three times that amount. I know. Well, that's what I was going to get to as well. Um, no. One well, thumbs up for that. Then. Yeah. From uh, one pound seventy nine. <laughs> body of the beer. One pound seventy nine. No. Um, I don't mind it being thin though. Flavours of the beer. I'm gonna go in, confused. in the middle. Yeah, it's confusing. And I'm gonna go thumbs down mm. mainly for me because that on my palate the salt just ruins 
Yeah. Everything else within that bit. It's quite ca more caramel. Yeah. Well, mm, mm. If, if, it had, if you like caramel, you'll enjoy it then. If it had the bold, those bolder chocolate and caramel flavours to offset. More peanut. And peanut. Do they put more peanuts in that? When That'd you call it, I'm not picking up a great deal of peanut in there. I'm not. Um, I'm getting it at the back ends more than. Let's try this. Let us know what you think if you had it. Have you had it? Because I'm mind boggled by this one. I'm, I'm comparing a... it though because. You like crunch. I like my crunch. Your crunch. Definitely peanut butter flavour all the way through that, and I absolutely enjoy you that. You like that? Is it tailgate brewing that you've been drinking at the. Um, or the Belching Beaver? It might be the Belching Beaver. Peanut butter peanut butter one. one. I like that one. That's from. The way we've had it in the brewery. It's in the brown kitchen. can. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one too. Um. But I've had horrific stouts for like seven. Well, like well that Munzel one, out. the Munzel yeah. one that we had, oh. that was an eleven pound a can. I'd drink that over that. It was dreadful. Yeah. White stout, it was fucking horrible. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple of stouts that I'd have that over. So that's why I'm a bit like in between with this at the moment. All things considered, so you, what you're going in the middle. Yeah, because yeah, I'm comparing it with stouts that cost me a lot more money or us as a lot more money. And I still would have that over it. I'm going to be completely fair. I am going to go on the thumbs down. Um, it's not your thing anyway, is it? To I, I, I like I like stouts. For me, that that salt just washes it. It ruins it for me. And that's sad because I was actually really looking forward to it. Yeah. But it's still drinkable. Tell you what, it's more drinkable. It ain't as bad as that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking terrible. It's it's drinkable. I think. Not that. Not like that. No, on camera, this one. on camera, try that monstrosity of a beer. There's also a tang to that. The, yeah. It's like a, I, I don't, I don't know where that tang is coming from. It's confusing. I'm a bit well. mind boggled with it. All, to, it, there's so many things going on in it. Mm. Anywho. Wow. Right, anyway, I've got a chili that's nearly yeah. ready um, to Yeah, thank you. That'll take the taste away from that shit. Um, if you've tried, tried either of these two, let us know because I'm really baby. interested if you like this one. Um, for me, it's not for me. I know Wanda's like on the fence with it, not for me. Uh, and that one, if you see that, don't even put it in your car because it'll blow your car up. It might be Horrendous. a cup of tea for some people. It's some not. Some people will like it. If you like that, give up beer drinking. It's not for you. Uh, me and Wanda. I'll see you very soon. Ignore him.